Hey, mini bike friends, Dan Przaski from allaboutminibikes.com. And hey, I just want to talk a little bit uh, about our site and a couple of things that are coming up also. But uh, one of the things I get is, if you'll notice, uh, I've been posting uh, stuff that had what what are mini cycles, not necessarily a mini bike, although some people would call them that. Very few people, but mini cycles like this here, 1974 Yamaha YZ80A, which I'm very proud of. Um, and the difference, there's a big difference between that and my 1969 Sears Runabout, our homemade Red Racer, our Ramjet, our Motovox, our Go-Kart. We love all of them. So a lot of our followers like not only the mini bikes, they also like carts because they're fun. Although that's not a vintage cart, that's, um, you know, it's still a lot of fun. And the YZ80. When I was a kid... I grew up at a time when there were just the mini bikes, but then the mini cycles, whether it was the YZ80, the XR75, those are game changers when they came out in 1973 and 1974. People were using the GTM X80 and things like that before. But one thing about our site is that I'm kind of, you know, I, I put it all in because there's a lot of people, and I know this from my response, that are like me. You know, they love the mini bikes first and foremost, but they also love the Yamaha YZ, the Honda XR75, GTM X, XL75, uh, 70, I can't remember which it was exactly. So, so that's why it's out there. So it's all about mini bikes, but you know, we just love these things. And it's what a lot of us grew up with, even if we didn't own them. Like I didn't have one at the time. I couldn't afford it when it came out. The YZ80 or a mini cycle. I had the mini bikes. Actually, I had the Ramjet. By the time I saved up of money, I was too big and they needed to get the uh, YZ100. And anyway, so I'm just putting that out there that we love all the bikes, number one. And number two, I, I have not talked about our homemade builds, but I do have at the beginning of the month. The order should be coming in. I had a place bend all my tubing for me. I don't talk about it anymore because the stuff was already supposed to be here. It hasn't been. I keep buying more equipment and things that I'm going to need to be able to produce these um, mini bikes. So I won't talk about those until the parts are actually here. And uh, anyway, just thought I'd give you guys a quick video of what's going on here, why it's going on, and why I put mini cycles in here along with our mini bikes. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please share. If you're not a follower, please join up and be a follower. Any comments, questions below, leave that there also. It's good to have all you. I love to hear from you guys. I also love when people send the pictures of their bikes. That's why I keep posting them. Everybody's pretty proud of them and as they should be. So thanks for watching. Stay in touch. I will with you for sure. Have a great day.